Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I am going to walk you through the new JD Bubbles product, and it's super simple to add soap bubbles, and the reason that I started working on this was uh, I bought soap bubbles in many instances. I bought a bubble machine, I've, I've purchased many bubble-related products over the years, and inevitably, I always get very awkward facial expressions or awkward bubble placement. And for people who don't mind that, that's fantastic. But I just didn't have a lot of luck with bubbles. And so I decided to create these overlays. They also help me a lot when I have photos of like toddlers, like my daughter. And uh, it gives her something to look at because often I'm not able to have her look where I want her to look and it adds a little context for me. So anyway, without further ado, let me just explain how to use this product. So you're going to start, you can have edited your work already or you can do this straight out of camera, but if you want to add a bubble and you see here she's she's starting to do bubbles. These are this is real and this was shot. Um but I want to add more bubbles here, so I'm going to go and I can add bubbles in a variety of ways and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go to open here. Here we go. There is a screen light and mode bubble set and then there are the soft light, hard light overlay mode bubbles and they're both in their own little folders. Um, and basically just depending on the image and depending on the colors in it, you may want to try uh, different modes. And so I've created uh, similar bubbles, but in different modes. So let's go ahead and pick here the, uh, this is the bubble hard light and it's number one version two. And the only difference here is that I added in some uh, bubbles. And these are real bubbles that I actually shot and then just transformed them into overlays. So. This is really how a, a bubble looks if it gets close to your camera shooting wide open. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And now I can do a variety of different things. I can select all and then I would go to edit and hit copy. And then I could go into here, paste. And now it fills end to end. Uh, if yours doesn't, you can simply use this move tool. And with the transform key or under edit transform, you could resize it to whatever you wanted. I'm going to leave it right now. And what I'm going to do is change the mode to first to overlay just to give you an idea of what it looks like in overlay and I'll move this around. Some of these little almost confetti looking things, I just want to show you. Some of them are in the overlay, some of them I removed, but this is actually what my camera did when I was shooting, you know, backlight with a wide open lens. So if you don't like any of these things, I'll just show you. We're going to, again, this is the overlay mode. This is soft light and this is hard light. So these are three different modes that you can try when you're using one of these gray overlays because everything that's gray is going to disappear and you're just going to be seeing uh, the basically the the whites, the the darks, the the colors, but all of that mid-tone gray is going to go away. Now let's say here I'm gonna move this a little bit and let's say that I like this. Let's say I want to uh, maybe make these bubbles a little bit smaller. Let's say I want it to look like she's looking at one. So I'm going to kind of look at her eye and, and sort of line it up there. And perhaps I'll do it with this littler guy. Okay. Now, once I'm satisfied, I'm just going to go ahead and, and check this. So I like my transform. Now I'm going to add a mask to get rid of some of the stuff that I don't want. I'm, I'm not going to have uh, these little color effects going on there. So I'm going to hit this mask. And now I'm going to select a black brush. And make it a little bit bigger than this. And it's going to, opacity is going to be at 100%. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of any bubbles or bubble details that I don't want. All right, so super, super easy and fast. Now, let me show you how I would use this same uh, effect, but with a black mask, and you can see the difference. Go here back to open, and this time we're going to go to the screen mode, and let's say we're just gonna use, hmm, so we're going to use this one. Let's do a different. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how you would add it if you want to just drag and drop it in. So I'm going to grab the, the move tool and I'm literally just going to grab it and dump it in. There are different color modes, so just go ahead and hit OK if you get that. And now, since it's black, I'm going to hit either lighten. Can you see this? Or I'm going to select screen. Okay, so this will give it a little bit different look and effect. And again, if you don't like these little confetti effects, you simply would erase them out. So let's just go right here like this. And again, I'm going to add a mask. And I'm going to paint into that mask and paint out any of these little effects, any of these little bubbles that I don't like. All right. Next, I'm going to show you how to add bubbles with a brush. So I'm going to make sure my brush is selected here. And I'm going to go to my brush uh, menu up here. And right over here, I am going to say load brushes. And I'm going to come here to this little icon, which says bubble brushes ABR. And I'm simply going to hit open. And I just need to make sure that I have a new layer. And now I'm going to make sure that I have white selected as my color. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select one of these brushes. Now, let me show you this one, this very first brush that comes up. I, I use a, a Wacom t a pen and tablet. So in this instance, I'm going to set the opacity to 100% and I'm just going to tap it one time. And then from this one time, I can reposition or move these bubbles around. Now with my Wacom, if I hit it harder, if I press it harder, you see I would get bigger bubbles. If I press it softer, I get smaller bubbles. All right. Now in this particular brush, this very first brush, if you spread it around, you're, instead of it diffusing and going all over the place, it's just going, it, it's not going to look good. In other brushes, I built it so that you can sort of move your brush around and get different effects, but not on this first one. Okay, so there's the first brush example. Now let's get a, a fresh layer. Basically, this is a very similar, this is the same uh, bubbles, however, this time it's programmed so that when you move it around, it's going to automatically sort of populate more bubbles. So if you keep dabbing, so let's say you want to hit it a couple of times. You're going to get different sizes, different angles of bubbles. And then what you could do is simply make your own mask and you don't want to use a bubble brush for this, but using one of your normal brushes, go back through and delete any that you don't like. All right. So a couple of different ways you can go about this in those bubble brushes. If you want to play an experiment, there's all kinds of, of different configurations and different ways that you can do this from just a few to, I mean, you could have bubble insanity that <laughs> don't go that far, but anyway, so it should be fun. It should be fast. It should be easy. Hopefully this tutorial helps you. All right. Thank you so much.